Okay, we're going to deal with file handling. So what I'm going to say straight off the bat here is that this is not uh, the video to go into first if you're dealing with algorithms. File handling is a fairly advanced technique, so you need to have good grounding in different kind of variables uh, and how to just sort of generally do algorithms before you start to approach uh, file handling. And you'll see why in the moment. I'm going to take you through um, two different techniques that you might need. The first one's going to be uh, writing to a file. So how do we do that? And the trick with this really is remembering how what the syntax is for opening a file. We're going to do this in sort of pseudocode, um, but this would be very similar to, to Python, not exactly like Python as well, but, but similar to Python. Uh, and it's this, we use, and you try, need to try and get in your head that a file can be a variable, just like a string can be a variable or an integer can be a variable, a file can be a variable. So I've got a variable here called my file, um, and I'm making it a file variable as opposed to a string by calling this function here, so open. Uh, so here, I'm gonna open, and then in speech marks, I'm gonna give the name of the file. And let's just say we've got a very simple um, file here called data and it's a text file as well so it's data.txt uh, all right I'm opening my file there and let's say I've got some data that I want to put in it um, so let's have let's just have something really basic and typical so let's just have hello world how do I get that data hello world into the file so that is the question so I've got data I've got my file I do it like this I go my file and then I call a function on my file just like you might have seen with string manipulation so my file dot right line okay so you need to remember the name of that function so right line so right line will do as it sounds like it will write a line to a file and it will take as a parameter so that's the stuff which is in between the brackets here um, a variable so what will happen here if you imagine your file uh, let's put it over here that's called data.txt when I go my file dot right line data this hello world here will make its way uh, into data.txt so now uh, we have on a single line here, hello world. Let's just add another line to see what happens there. So let's just add uh, this question here again, and then I'm gonna do the same trick, my file uh, dot right line data, because I've used the same variable, haven't I? Data here is the same va variable that I've got here, but I've got new data in it. So uh, my file dot right line data, what will happen there is again, will go on the line below. So when you're doing with right line, every time you call, uh, right line, you are writing data to the bottom to the of the file uh, and it will be on a new line. Any time that I've opened a file, so look up here, I've opened that file, I have to remember to close it because if not, I run into all sorts of problems when I exit my program, like the operating system will still think it's open and it won't let me access that file anymore. So I need to just do this, my file dot close. So that is how you write to a file. Have a look at the separate video about how you can start reading from them. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.